Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and uh, welcome back to The Cat Lady! Last time we were just skipping kind of back and forth in time, and we have been transported back to uh, um, Pest Control Bastard and Nurse Bleach's uh, Basement of Horrors, and uh, we've already been killed once by Nurse Bleach. She apparently doesn't like us going in her tool shed, so let's find out how to kill these fucking people! So anyway, resuming. And we're off again! Okay, so... <laughs> Hi! I'm the immortal lady who keeps uh, breaking into your fucking house. Let's have a look out here. This is honestly Maniac Mansion. Right, there's a radio here, there's a chandelier. If I go to the left, or to the right here, I'm, I'm gonna enter a library. I'm gonna walk into a fucking library with a spiral staircase. This is... this is really awesome. Switch on. Nothing happens. Needs a new light bulb. Okay. <laughs> this is if there's if there's a loose panel down onto the bookcase with a cassette tape in it, I am calling this shit the most awesome reference in uh, modern history. <laughs> I I fucking love Maniac Mansion. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, okay, have a look in the sofa. Let's just have a sit down. No time for that. Thank you. Why again? Why give me the option? They don't make them like this anymore. There's not really anything in here, is there? Yep. Oh, so that cutscene, that weirdo cutscene of uh, this guy dragging a body out of uh, the van and such, that was, uh, you know, masky face. Only bedrooms up there. All right, cool. So, so what am I supposed to be unlocking? So that uh, that cutscene anyway was him dragging me out of the van. Yeah, I know, I'm slow. I'm, I'm getting there. What's in the fridge? Is there a bottle of ketchup? <laughs> Door's stuck, yeah. There's something about this painting. I'm just gonna steal a painting. Everyone needs a painting. Okay, so, uh, you know, fool me once. It's just, uh... Head back in here and see how she's doing. She's still here! Oh, never mind. Okay, so we know that Nurse Bleach likes to hang out in the tool shed. So we are not going near the tool shed just yet. Uh, we do, however, have the bleach, and I hope that's actually... Well, she did say there were two ingredients to this little cocktail of ours, but let's just see what happens if I pour this in. I'm not sure. If only I could talk to Mitzi first. Okay, we are uh, still in need of a second ingredient. Okay, I can go outside. There's a small window here. So this is where the draft is coming from. Inside I can see my kid never fast asleep. Maybe I can get inside his van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here, though... Through the window, I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere, but the back door is locked. Maybe I can find a spare key. Ah, yes, Susan, I am so going there. Let's have a looksy looksy. Search the back of the van. What a horrible stench. Well, we're not here to pick up the horrible stench. It seems the idiot does everything his creepy wifey from hell tells him to. He brought his gas mask here. I will take it. Ah, we are going to need it. Well... Actually, we don't really. I mean, it's, you know, it's not pleasant to die of gas poisoning, but then again, we'll just, you know, pop right back up. Oh, he's left his phone, did it? I'll bet this is a red herring. I'll bet I can't actually get inside. Ooh, loose bricks. Can't quite pull the bricks out with my fingers. However, we are carrying a very blunt knife. Let's see if that does anything. And it most certainly did. Okay, so now what can we do? Nothing. The hotspot disappeared. Apparently we are solving puzzles slightly out of order here. I uh, can't just walk back. Well, maybe we can. Sorry. Didn't notice the screen was changing. So if I keep walking into fog, she's just gonna go, hell no. Ah, uh, yeah. I just get turned around. Well, nice bit of game mechanic there.
Okay, we're getting somewhere now. I have used the cloth to uh, get one of the light bulbs. Um, so I can put that in one of the lamps inside the library. So let's see what secrets the library has in store for us. I'll bet I need to get the other one as well. Okay, there we go. Lights on. Hey, the little cloth looks like a little ghost. How cute. There's actually a phone here. Uh, looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with a number on the base that says a number that I can't possibly remember. Or we can try and use it. And call our flat. Oh, no. No, no, no. Damn it. So... What?! Number. I was just going to go, oh, wait, uh, I had it wired up to the self-destruct mechanism of my apartment, or... Oh, God. So let's just call the number that was written on the phone, although I'm pretty sure that's just the phone's number. Yes, exactly. Right. And calling the police is probably going to be severely useless. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? Really? What? It's irrelevant! I've been kidnapped! I'm not there! I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity. Well, we certainly are the best possible Is law enforcement four, ever. Holland Street, EX4422DL, okay? Now please, do something. Oh For no, God's we sake. don't do things. Calm we down, are the police. Calm. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. So that was an excellent phone call, um, which solves absolutely nothing, although I think we can uh, all agree that the police in this game are absolutely useless. But here's my own phone number, which we now have memorized. That's very nice. It just happened to be a phone book there. That was very, very nice. So let's call home and see if Mitzi can give us anything. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Uh, hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people. <laughs> why, are, why are people so obsessed with, uh, you know, just finding out the reason why you've been kidnapped? Really, I'm, I'm, no I'm in mortal danger. Could you please just do I've something? Found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Oh yes, I can. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. Ooh. No one will miss him. Trust me, the police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I've always wanted one. But... What's, What's the other happening? chemical, you little tell me. bitch? Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. Thank you. No rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide, got it. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. Are we really going to carry on this conversation for much longer? Anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Right. Can do. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. Thank you. We are off. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Because <laughs> we can't die. All right, so we're off to find some pesticide. And we also have to make sure that the room downstairs is not very well ventilated. Now, where do you keep pesticide? In the radio. No. <laughs> 
You'd probably keep it in the kitchen cupboard somewhere. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck me! Does this, like, happen randomly? Like, when I take my time? Jesus H. Bitchy Christ, man. Are any of you pesticides? Come on. Come on, lads. Okay, so let's uh, tighten up this uh, little window here first. By putting a painting over it, we have now stopped the draft in the cellar. Not exactly sure how that works, but uh, works good enough for me. Okay, time to find the pesticide. Is she going to give me fair warning before she just pops out of nowhere? Because last time she just appeared, boom! Is any of these pesticides, please? Oh, 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 this shit out here. This. These are pesticides. They have to be. Oh, bathtub, bathtub, bathtub. I will... I will soak you up somehow. I need something to put the fucking stuff in the thing. And come on, there are like tons of uh, empty wine bottles here. Why can't I take one of those? Come on, look, I'm so close. I just need something to carry that shit in. And I've checked every room. There's not a single, like, container or something. And she won't, like, soak it up with the uh, uh, cloth because, yeah, okay, that would probably stain her pants or something. Maybe I can pick up the bucket. No, no. That would have been an awesome container, though. Okay. Oh, okay, so... <clears throat> so this is how we do it. Okay, so we pour the bleach in, and then we use the uh, bleach container to uh, pick up some more stuff. There we go. Ingredient number one. She threw it away. She goddamn threw it away. Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? I can't, like, walk up the stairs. I am stumped! I don't know how to pick up <coughs> this nonsense. Okay, let's just smash the window. There we go. So it's not really a red herring. No keys in the ignition. I'll have to find another way. Oh, so this is my, uh... This is my ticket out of here. Mobile phone. Examine. The battery is fully charged. All I have to do is dial a number. So can I just take the battery out? No. Make a call. That's... Oh! Oh, 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 oh! I see. I see what you're doing here. Phone's on the other side of the house. From here, I won't be able to hear if it's ringing. Okay, fine, fine. We will do it inside. But this is how we uh, distract her from... The little room. Nurse Bleach, I am so all over your shit. Oh, this is gonna be good. Hello? And now, get under the table. Yes, Nurse, Nurse, Nurse Bitch Head. I don't know. That was going to sound very scary. Jesus, she she is very scary. Yeah, go answer the phone, you fucking zombie. What is with all the doors opening around here? It's really, really... I mean, the atmosphere is spooky as shit. Right, off I go. Pesticide, take. Thank you. Is there anything else I need? Nope. Off we go. She's already answered the phone. Here we go. Ah, I love it when it gets good. You cunt! I shall end you and your husband first, but uh, I'm certainly going to end you as well. All right, time to dispense some sweet ass justice. We wear the gas mask and we pour the pesticide in and then we sit back and watch as he slowly 
fucking croaks. Off you go. <laughs> Creepy bastard. Can I kick him? In a oh my god! Thank you! I was, I was actually hoping we could do that. Can I shoot him in the face too? Oh yeah, Susan, you avenging bitch! Alright, Nurse Bleach, it's time to dispense some fucking justice. Where are you? Where are you? Are you still in the library? You little piece of shit. Oh, there she is! Hello! Get down! Hold back to pull the trigger. Okay, I can certainly do that. That was very, very satisfying. And a round of applause. I'm so excited, I'm spilling all over myself. The Cat Lady, Avenger of the Night. And on we go to Chapter 5. And I think uh, you all know where this is heading. This is as good a time as any. Some flowers never bent towards the sun. Uh, this is as good a time as any to leave the episode here. Um, but uh, not before we get our congratulatory sick about you. message from uh, Mitzi. Who, uh, Are you alright? Really? How did you get back? Really just seems to be missing oh. us a lot. <laughs> really? You terrible in that fog, didn't you? You could say that. I saw a monster. Ah! Bit close. Okay, they're in for a hug. Okay. <laughs> they're just staring at each other. Three, two, one, launch! Alrighty then. We have done what must be done. So, like I said, this is a good time to end the episode. I will, of course, encourage you to like, subscribe, do whatever the hell you kids do. But do leave me a comment. I love the comments. And I love you, gas mask wearing vengeful bitch. My god, Susan, you are my new favorite person in the world. So, thank you guys for tuning into the Cat Lady, and I will see you around the Chrono Stream. <laughs>